Hi, welcome to Giggle 5. In this video, I will show you the benefits of deep MIDI integration between Giglad and your MIDI controller. Using MIDI feedback messages, you can completely transform your controller into a powerful arranger, syncing all the lights and colors from Giglad's interface to the controller. This way, you can instantly see what's happening with your arranger without having to read everything on the screen every time. Giglet 5 comes with a new MIDI feedback feature, allowing you to send MIDI messages back to your controller to show the correct color and light the buttons exactly as they appear on Giglet's interface. As you can see on my MIDI controller, this button flashes red. This is the button I chose as my start-stop button. The same button flashes on the interface as well. Here, these two buttons control transposition. When they are green, transposition is at zero which means it's off. Pressing one button makes it glow orange, just like on the interface, indicating that transposition is at least plus one. Pressing both buttons together resets it to zero, changing the colors back to green. This makes playing much easier, as you don't have to constantly look at the screen. The lights and colors tell you the state of your arranger at a glance. For example, on the right, I used eight buttons for my bank members. There are 16 bank memories in Giglet, but only 8 buttons are available on my controller. This is why I used an additional button as a modifier. When the modifier is off, I see the first 8 memories glowing blue. Activating the modifier turns on its LED, and all 8 LEDs now glow purple, indicating control over the second row of bank memories, 9 to 16. You don't need to check the screen or know which modifier is active. Just by looking at the button colors, you know which row you're controlling. In my case, because I want my controller to look just as Gila's interface, selected buttons glow orange. The colors and buttons layout are entirely your choice. You can use any color scheme and assign any function to any button. Make it feel like home so you can get familiar with your controller instantly and operate quickly. Now, let me show you how to set up MIDI feedback. In your controller's user manual, check the section about which type of MIDI messages are used for feedback. Usually, it's the same message that controller sends to Giglet, a node or CC message. In my case, this is Arturia Killab Mark II, uses a system-exclusive messages that needs to be sent back to the controller to fully control lights and colors. This is done in the MIDI controls settings. Buttons can have two or three states. Always present buttons, like tap tempo, transposition up and down, or start stop, they have two states, on and off. Buttons that disappear, like style sections, have three states, on, off, and not present. You can set the color for each state, so buttons can glow softly even when inactive, change color or intensity when active, or completely turn off when a section isn't present, letting you know there is nothing to activate at that moment. Once your MIDI controls and feedback settings are done, you can save them as a preset to store or share online with your friends. You can even create multiple presets for different occasions, like playing at night, during the day, or for entirely different setups. You choose. That's all for this video. In the next one, I will show you everything about pets.